Hey YouTube, how's it going? Yak Science here with another biology video. And today we're going to be talking about the LAC opera. Now before we get started, I want to dedicate this video to Ariel. You know who you are, so thank you for the inspiration. Um, so the LAC operon is seen in bacteria like E. coli, and it's used to regulate the metabolism or the breakdown of lactose. We know lactose is a sugar, it's a disaccharide made up of two monosaccharides, right? And so when bacteria want to break down lactose, uh, they're going to use this really intricate mechanism to do that. So we call this the LAC operon. What do we mean by an operon? Well, essentially, what the LAC operon is, is it's a series of genes located on the same segment of DNA, but these genes are very much related to each other in that they're all serving a common uh, goal, uh, with the goal being regulating the metabolism of lactose. So in this simple yet very useful diagram, you need three genes in order to uh, break down lactose into its two monomers. LAC-Z, LAC-Y, and LAC-A. These are three genes, three of the genes located on the LAC operon. Let's talk about each of these. LAC-Z is a gene that codes for an enzyme called beta-galactosidase. Let's write that out. Okay, so beta-galactosidase. Now, beta-galactosidase is going to be the enzyme that actually hydrolyzes the lactose disaccharide into a glucose and a galactose monomer. Now, next is LAC-Y. LAC-Y codes for uh, a protein that we call a permease or lactose permease. Let's write that up. And the lactose permease is actually going to have the job of transporting the lactose into the cell uh, so that it could be broken down in the first place. And finally, we have LAC-A. LAC-A codes for an enzyme that we call a transacetylase. Let's write that up. Now, as the name implies, the transacetylase is an enzyme that transfers an acetyl group uh, somewhere within the mechanism of breaking down lactose. Uh, the function of it is not really clear even today. And so courses typically won't test you too much on lac A. And so these three genes are really important when it comes to breaking down lactose. But remember, this is an inducible operon, which means we don't want to be expressing lac Z, lac Y, and lac A all the time. We only want to express these when the concentration of lactose is very high in the cell, when there's a lot of stuff to, to break. And so we want a mechanism to regulate when these are expressed and when they aren't. And so in conditions when lactose concentration is high, what will normally happen? What will normally happen is RNA polymerase will bind to the promoter region. This is just a region of DNA uh, upstream of these genes. And it'll, RNA polymerase will bind and you can picture it kind of sliding down the DNA strand and expressing lac Z, lac Y, and lac A so that they can do their job expressing these proteins and then breaking down lactose successfully. But what happens, right, when the lactose concentration is low? We don't want to express these. So what are we going to do? Or what's the lac operon going to do? It's going to prevent RNA polymerase from even making its way to this portion of the DNA strand. How is it going to do that? It's going to do that using a gene called lac-I. Lac-I codes for a repressor. Let's write that out. Okay, so lac-I codes for a repressor. And what the repressor is going to do is it's going to bind right here to the operator region. That's OP, short for operator. Couldn't fit it all on the square. Um, so it'll, it'll bind to the operator because it's sort of an induced fit model, right? It'll stay there and physically block RNA polymerase from making its way to these genes. So what's the catch? How do you get the repressor off? The only way to get the repressor off is through lactose. So when lactose concentration is high, it will bind to the repressor, which is bound to the operator. It'll change the conformation of the repressor, cause the repressor to leave the operator, and now open the gateway for RNA polymerase to express these genes, okay? So just to review, LAC-I has its own promoter region, okay? This isn't the promoter for LAC-I. LAC-I has its own promoter. It is constantly being expressed. So the repressor is constantly floating around and constantly, um, stuck to the operator, preventing the RNA polymerase from transcribing these. So the only way to get it off is when lactose concentration is high, lactose binds to the repressor, changes its conformation, and may, causes it to leave the operator region, thus allowing the transcription of these genes. Sorry, that was a mouthful, but I really want to get the point across because it could sometimes be confusing for students. Okay, so let's move on. Now, up to this point, uh, you might be thinking that, oh, okay, if lactose concentration is high, boom, we have a ton of expression of this. And if lactose concentration is low, we have very little expression of this. 
but really it gets a little bit more complicated because now I want to talk about the role of glucose and cyclic AMP. So as a rule of thumb, you actually won't get a whole lot of expression of this if you have a large concentration of lactose and a large concentration of glucose because you can almost think of it as the bacteria preferring glucose over lactose and you actually won't express a whole lot of this. So rule of thumb, you want a large concentration of lactose and a low concentration of glucose. And here's the explanation why. When concentration of glucose is low, the concentration of cyclic AMP is high. And when the concentration of cyclic AMP increases, it combined to this protein right here called CAP. And the cyclic AMP CAP complex can then increase the affinity that RNA polymerase has for this region, for the promoter, so that it can express more. So if you want, if you're asked the question, when do you have the maximal expression of Z, Y, and A? The answer is during a high concentration of lactose and low concentration of glucose or high concentration of lactose and high concentration of cyclic AMP is probably the more accurate answer. Okay, so this is the lac operon. I really hope that helped and thanks so much for watching.